I don't think he is. I'm pretty sure he was around early. How long have you been uh in the department sport is? If you don't uh, mind me asking. Like since I got hired? Uh, yes, sir. I think I started back uh, April this year. Oh, wow, so you actually moved up quite fast then. Is that correct? Because aren't you kind of like up there as far as the ranks on the ladder go? Uh, I mean, I'm a senior officer. Uh, I mean, there's a lot more to go up uh, from just senior officer. You got corporal, sergeant, That's lieutenant. That's the attitude to have. That's yeah. right. There's always room to grow. Yeah, I know I've only been around for, for uh, what, since April, but... Uh, in terms of like uh, time, I think that's probably where the biggest thing comes in in terms of like progression, right? Because think about it this way, you know, you spend four months on duty and you're putting in hella time on all those months. Uh, in my opinion, it could equivalent out to someone who's been on the force for a year who puts in, you know, maybe uh, not 40 sure. hours. On. I mean, uh, in terms of like, uh, I mean, I think the environment's different. Definitely. I'm hearing some mixed information respectively, which is making it kind of hard to make a decision. I don't yeah, want to make the wrong Conan's decision. Got, Conan's got his own opinion on it, you know, but. Uh, the way I look at it, I don't, I don't think that's the case because uh, you can be on duty every day and do your job wrong. It doesn't mean you're a better cop than somebody else, you know? I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about like, like, in general. That's the whole point about, you know, you should. it's not about just being on duty. It's about improving when your time on duty, right? If you show like up every day and you don't improve, sir. you don't work, then uh, obviously you're not making any progress. But and if you, you go you know, in the dirt. Yeah, like being active is one thing, but being active and uh, continuously improving, right, is a whole different case versus just being on duty. Because you can show up every day and be shit at your job and do it wrong, and you know you you, you get feedback and you don't improve on that feedback. Hey, Bob, I just had yeah, gunshots. Doesn't equivalent. I feel like wiser I... words have never been spoken in such a Code voice. Six. Class two gunshots yeah. at Burger Shot. Gotta uh, improve, self improve, self reflect on situations the canals? as they go to uh, help uh, better yourself. Six five one seventy six. Uh, all around person. You know? Three zero nine seventy six burger shot. So the more situations you undergo, 55. the more calls you go to, the more different people you deal with, the more you uh, experience you get, and uh, as far as like feedback from others too, that helps, right? So this man I think is this just full of wisdom. I feel like he earned a yeah, great hair for too. every that wise truck. word he just spit out. Oh. Thank you, thank you. Well, uh, you know, the grayer, yeah, you know. I don't know who shot, uh, but I think it's that truck that's um, running. Question, so you've only been be, around uh, since Everon, April. Did you have that gray hair when you started, or does it come with the job? Uh, yeah, it's, it came right started when I, yeah. Going on, Bats, we're good to ride. You want to ride along, or what's the move? I'm working on this uh, firearm team unit for, like, SWAT stuff. Um, where Bob's feeding me and Brian, we're trying to, like, um, just come up with ideas for it right now, and then I should be free afterwards. Ooh, can I come with you guys or? Yeah, come over here. All right, I'm going to give uh, this ride along to somebody else. She can actually learn. She's just fucking around too much with me. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why. All right, all right. I'll, uh, I don't know who to hand it off to, though. I don't know who uh, who should I give her to. Uh, I mean, you can cut her loose or just give, ask somebody else up to you. All right. Uh, maybe she might be good with Gunner. Me ask Gunner. Ask Gunner. All right, we'll all be right. up. All right, Bob's and Fiddy. All right, peace. All right, well, yeah, we'll leave you with him. All right, you guys take care. We're going to go to Boston Smith up processing. No, 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 no. I got to do something with Bass right now, so I, I need you to get a ride along with somebody else. So I'm just trying to find Gunner. Oh, all right. I can go with Gunner. He's not picking up, though. What about that T fellow? Who? The T? Who? That Teretti fellow you guys mentioned? He's not mentioned? around. He's not around. All right. What about that Bass fellow? The I one that to, doesn't like me to too go, much. I, I feel like I got to win him over. With Bass. That's the thing. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess I'll take Suarez if he's still here. Are <clears throat> you sure? I mean, I'll have to take what I can get unless I'm going to call it a fucking day and I don't have a clean nah, nah, fucking nah, nah. attitude. No, no, no. All right, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm trying to get you a gunner. Let me, let me call him. Oh, all right. Someone with the, uh, the Cyclops. Is that right? 
Yeah. Hello. Hey, Gunner. Uh, can you do me a favor? If not, yeah, let me know. Across. I um, I gotta go do something with Bash really quick. Can you uh watch this ride along oh, or not? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, Connor, where uh, is where where's the ride along at? She's in Mission Row with me. Um, send her outside in the All parking lot. Right. All right. Okay, sounds good. I need to pick up fucking Conan Clarkson's ride along. He said he's got to take care of something. <laughs> Did she come? Where are you in the motor pool? Uh, yeah, yeah. Just tell her to come to the motor All pool. Right, come here, come here, uh, Ruth. We are. Mm-hmm. Exactly, sir. What do you say? Um. Okay. Oh, you're with Pred? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all good. I got this. Hey, all right. You're not uh, trying to get rid of me, are you? Did no, no, no. Wrong? I have to go to Bass. I have to oh, go do something see, with him and Brian. You have to go do something with Bass. Okay. What so. happened to you? Okay. Uh, all right. Perfect, Ruth. Uh, get in the car. Yes, sir. Say uh, less. Come on, Fred. Okay. Thanks, guys. I'm gonna teach her. I'm actually. Gonna... <sighs> said Bob Smith, right, chat? What's up, guys? Good, how are you? What you guys up to? Yeah, I'm just trying to think about this uh, loadout for this uh, small farm team we're trying to do. What's that, like a new department or something? New unit. Uh, it, it'd, be, it'd, it'd basically replace SWAT. SWAT is dog shit. It's just not functional right now at, at all. It's just, um, you go in there and die. So I'm trying to limit SWAT to maybe six in total. Those guys, uh, basically can patrol and compliment anybody in any open shootouts or active uh, static 78s. But only those six can have access to SWAT gear. Everybody else would be just regular patrol. And those guys can just patrol wherever and whenever? Yeah, but like I said, um, they would have that loadout and all the stuff, all the SWAT gear in their lock storage on standby, just in case it happens. But they would be able to have like, um, be able to carry class two right away. There would be an unmarked, um, ready to compliment patrol if anything happens. And they took you can't have the Pegas though, bro. I ain't gonna cap. No, no. Last SWAT, everybody and every, anybody was in it. Well, this was, this becomes like an actual sort now, like a like an SRU um, yeah, yeah. sort, right? So I'm I'm trying to um I'm trying to also purchase an S plus vehicle we can use to patrol. Well, well, what's his name? Has one. Who? Um, Espinaz. He has the GTR. Yeah, but is he only a two seater? No, four. Yeah, I just prefer if it's an unmarked. What, what is the S plus gonna do though? Because you you still have two. You, it's only two seats. Unless you yeah, want like a it's, range, it's, like a, a Range Rover, or like a. I have a I have a, um, a G wagon, right? So. Oh yeah, true. I just need something that is S plus. I think if we do S plus vehicle, or something like a G wagon, it might confuse. We might get friendly fired, honestly. I think yeah. with RPD, we'd probably get fucking taken out by our own guys. So it's better to just stick to unmarked and say fuck it. That way at least we have What uh, unmarked cars do we have? We have the Charger. We have I have a Banshee as well. I can pull out. Oh, like what are the PD ones that we have? Oh, you have to go to Mr. Um, PD. Check it out. We have um, Banshee, Coquette, a Buffalo. This is my Banshee right here. This is this is there's shit in this. No, it would. It, 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 no, in this one it would be like a 
<clears throat> Evidence locker and the lock storage, right? Because um, they haven't. Wait, what? Instead of a lock storage, would be evidence lock storage. If that makes any sense. I don't know what the fuck that means, but all right. It means um, the lock to store your stuff. It would be in the evidence storage. We gotta tip this out though, because then people can still see the lights, you know. Hey. Yeah, I'm still in have you been a trainer? Yeah, we yeah. Uh, we went on channel 10. We did some one-on-one -on -one pursuit training. Oh, I, we can't be completely sealed, right? I mean, we're going to be low-key, yeah. but high-key sometimes, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to think uh, of like the proper loadout you can throw in a lock storage. Like I said, these guys will be in tacky all the time. You, you know them when you see them, right? They stand out. And well, what's the loadout you got so far? Uh, check the Rhino. Just have to be told or spend yeah. hundreds. Don't know how to fit the MK14 uh, in there. That shit weighs it's a lot, heavy. right? Yeah. I thought you could. Wasn't there like a store here? Oh yeah, yeah open armory. Is. Yeah, there's an armory in the back. This is the loadout. Yeah, I'm just thinking how to. Basically, a compliment the MK14 because, like, you want the scar, you can't have the MK14 in the scar. I'm, I'm gonna keep it a stack. Having... I'm gonna keep it a stack. You don't need this taser because if you're already deploying this unit, it's already, already beyond that point where you're tasing. Right, you're not gonna need a taser, but you're gonna be patrolling. Like I said, you're not gonna be always responding to shootouts. Oh. Um, that's the remove the taser, I guess. Um, this would be like, um, well, now look. That would be kind of like the shootout. That would be like the loadout you have in your lockbox, basically. Talk about the, the I mean, lockbox. You could fit you know? more, bro. If you eat food, you have 300 pocket storage. So I got, Not you in could... the lock storage. I'm talking about the lock storage, remember? Okay, we're talking about the, what, the actual What's box. in the lock storage? 250? 250. Uh, and to be honest, all you need in the lock storage is just your scar and the SWAT gear and the stun grenade and the grapple gun. You don't need five adrenaline syringes, bro. We can have up to five. I'm just like trying to see like um, how we can make it work. So, I'm gonna be real, I would take. I would even take out the pistol. I would swap the pistol and the, the taser uh, with the what do you like? Like if I'm deploying this unit and I go in my locked storage, right? I'm putting my pistol away and my fucking taser, and I'm bringing out the MK14 in the scar. The only thing is that if they shoot from the car while trying to chase after them, you're fucked, basically, right? Mm, yeah, but you're dirty. Like the way you look at it, dude, is you're not gonna. It's not gonna be just the, that six people. Like if there's a shootout going on and 78 get called, idea. you like, swap the taser and the Glock with um with the SWAT gear. And yeah, bro. Star. The, and that can go all in your glove box, bro. Like you don't even need to put that in the storage container. Really, all you think you need here is like here, let me, all you really need is what CDs grapple gun is 30 pounds. 73 is 103. I don't even no. think you need a stun grenade, to be honest. Not yep. really. Not an open scale show up, but just in case they try to hold out or they're 15 and on. 20, so 20, 50, 123. 123 pounds? That's easy, bro. Yep. Just kinda... 123 pounds and you're dropping out already 9 and... What's that? Like, I'd be like 30 pounds right there. So really, you, just, you have to have net 100 pounds, which is not bad. Because then, like, you can put your flashlight in your glove box, which is 11 pounds. Put your repair kit away. Um, yeah, baton. Kit, exactly. You know, shit like that. I think you're overthinking yeah. the pocket storage. And don't cops always have 300? Oh. No, oh. you need pizza, man. I'm at 270, and, I'm, and I have nothing on me. How am I being suspicious? Your fucking vehicle's blowing up. I'm giving you a phone call. Yep, just a food for thought, you know. Trying to trying this out. What's it? What are you gonna call it? Oh, it'd be SWAT. It'd literally be SWAT. Oh hell yeah. Yeah, that's it. All right. Uh, Brian, to, uh, take care of some things. What's going on, Clarkson? Requesting. There's a bunch of uh, yokai in charge. Yeah, yeah. I was on the phone room? with them just now. Oh, I'm Welcome. not bothering with that. Yeah, I'm not no? doing shit either. Uh, TLDR. Uh, well, I'm not for reasons, but um, the long and short of it is, it's their prospects. You're doing training? It's complicated. 
Holy fuck, that's cringe, Jesus. Yeah, right. he's broken right now. He's just like trying to process. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Uh, right. okay. uh, Hard castles on it though. So, so the only problem with this unit is, um, if you're gonna be riding with a battle buddy, how do you both share the both block storage, right? Mm -hmm. Unless you carry some on you already, and then you have some. Well, uh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, you're taking out. You're getting. Are they going to be in special cars or what? What's going on? Like unmarked, unmarked. It's like the charger over there, or like the banshee, right? Is it going to be a, a charge that everybody else can take out, or is it only like a separate car? If it's a separate what? car, if it's a separate car that's only made for those s situations, you would have one in the lock storage and just put one in the trunk. No, no, no. It'd be it, it, so we don't have any special cars like that unless we turn some of the interceptors into like. Uh, okay, well, mark. even your to your point. Okay, two two MK14s is 145 right there. You still have another 140 100 storage for everything else. Cars is 50. That's um, you have to wait. People carry cars on them normally. That's 50 right there. Okay, whatever. Okay, you have 50 pounds between what adrenaline syringes and uh, armor. Our people have armor on them all the time. Right. If you don't have armor on you on a normal, on a normal basis, bro, then you're not meant to be in this. How, how I mean, the MK14, how effective it is? I feel like they're just not That's effective. That's really to good. Very effective, my friend. Okay. So we should probably limit that to only two having MK14 out of the six. You'd probably, like, want it as a part of your standard I mean, well, what's the image you're so trying to go available? for here? Like, what's going on? Like, um, I'm trying to go for a tag team that is deployed, is that is basically... Um, has um, the SWAT was a fucking joke, but yeah. If there's a if there, no, it's separate from SWAT. So SWAT is for like, um, if there's like a holdout or whatever, it's for infiltration, um, coordinated and, infiltration. Whereas yeah, and those this six is going first for the SWAT. Let's say there's a holdout, those six would yeah. go in first, right? It would lead the, the, the holdout, like those. Oh, six fuck. wait, is this SWAT or is it not SWAT? Because before SWAT. you said this wasn't, no, that's oh. this is SWAT, but in a more smaller firearm team. So is that surge so, just getting wiped out, or like what's going on? Yeah, yeah I'm it would, confused. It would, it would get wiped out. We'd go through more training, and then you'd have to earn the cert to be able to have access. I'm gonna tell you from now, though, but not everybody can have this fucking. Why? Cert if you're going for this serious art like thing. Wait, is SWAT? Wait, you're getting rid of SWAT and replacing it with this? Yes. Have you spoken to Vale and? Um... Yes, I've spoken to Vale Owen. Oh, it's okay. The we have right. So I got you. It has you to know. be trusted people because you're giving um, special equipment that could be easily misused. So, ask people heavily vetted, know what they're doing, and do not abuse. I'm gonna be serious. I'm gonna be honest. In most shootouts and all that shit, people go back to the fucking PD, bro. Uh, I, nobody, like you know what I'm saying. People go to PD, they drop all their shit on the ground, and they go to the armory and just buy everything up again, and then they go to the closet and change their outfits. By the time there's already a shootout, it's most likely either a holdout or you're not gonna have enough time to even respond in the first place. Is this meant for 13 that's, atoms that's as well? Yeah, this is why you have mm. it in lock storage, Clarkson. You, you're ready. You're best to patrol on an unmarked. So then you need to have that in every car then. And no, the because... On that day. Yeah. No, no. What, what are you saying though, Clarkson? Is like, there's going to probably be like three to four of these vehicles out there at all times. Right. So, so on, if a 13 on your, Alpha happens, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. like their priority. If you have this, sir, yes. it's part of your priority to put it in your lock storage before you go out and patrol. Correct. Every day. Like, right. Okay. Every day, if you're no, going to be what you mean. deploying the tech team, it does not have to be deployed at the time, but... But you always want it stocked. A, correct. You want to stock it. Let's say today is a day where you want to basically, uh, there's a lot of shootouts happening. Depending on the nature or the behavior of the shift, you can adapt to it, right? Let's say there's been a lot of 1013 Alpha, and then a small attack unit uh -huh. will start patrolling the streets. So if a shootout happens in the future, they're prepared, and they can excel and help out with that. The six-star PD unit. Oh, that's so fucking, so fucking sick. Oh, so, holy fuck, six stars around. So you have grappling guns, you have access to MK14, <laughs> you've got guns, you have syringes, you got, I mean, right, so. Holy fuck, it's Jason Bourne. Yeah, yeah, I know what you and mean. And then you're wearing tech gear, you're not wearing normal patrol outfit, you're wearing like uh, jeans or, you know, hoodies or, I don't mean, mm. I guess. Like, uh, identify. And all the Papega cops are going to shoot at us anyway. All right. Why not roll this into HVTU? Like the because HV it's not about high value targets. High value targets are people with warrants, well, right? Well, in theory, it would be at that stage, right? Because I mean, I so agree. We're, tr we're trying to give SWAT a meaning because right now it's dog shit and it's pointless, right? So, but, 
but so just hear me out, right? This may not be the best idea, but so we have HV2 right now for high value targets. They've got like, um, they've got a look, they got a feel, right? And if they're already in SWAT and those guys are rolling around, like responding to those high value targets, they now have additional on their plate, which is they're the first ones to respond to a 13 atom. Um, that way you don't potentially have two separate units completely, one that's driving around potentially. I'm gonna be honest, what the fuck is HVTU? Is that even shit even people even do that shit? Every yeah. now and then, yeah. And how I many mean, people are in that? You, you get what I'm oh, saying? Like, I agree, I, I do get what you're saying, Brian. If, if you just have but, this but, unit. But Brian, 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 if that's the yeah. case then, then it would have to be like, is the HVTU a cert? Yes. No. It's well, it's the, like you yeah, get you get brought into it. So then, different. and then if with Brian's logic, you would essentially have to be into HVTU. You wipe SWAT out completely. But then you're. So I'm gonna let me finish here, right? Essentially, for you to do that, you would make essentially you have to be an HVTU. Once you uh, be an HVTU, you automatically get a SWAT cert. Problem with that? That's what happens right now? Is that what happens right now? Correct. Yes. If you're HVTU, you have a SWAT cert. Okay, but you can join SWAT without being an HVTU, right? Well, anybody's SWAT right now, yes. Right. So essentially, so that stops right there, and then you have to join HVTU. But then for you to do that, then uh, essentially, what happens to the both leads? What leads? Like, what who's the leads of the S SWAT unit? Are they the same leads as the SVTU? Yeah, exactly. It's the right. same unit. Oh, it's the same it's shit? Subdivision. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. So that's so why I'm saying, like, if this SWAT unit is now doing on patrol work, well, on patrol SWAT work is already HVTU. Because uh, the issue that this unit, the way that it's currently structured, the, the vision, is that you potentially are going to be sending out six units, probably your best uh, drivers. And yeah, these need to be like shooters, shooters and drivers. And they, they ain't going to be, be doing, and they yeah. ain't going to be doing shit all day until there's a shootout. So if it's under the same umbrella as HVTU, at least they can be going after high value targets. So they have a purpose in life. Other than driving around, wait till. Agreed. Agreed. I like that. I like that a lot because that way they're. they're wait, if you're at HVTU, time. you can't just patrol normally. If you're, no, no, you, you can, can patrol but you won't want with this SWAT because you can't do normal patrol on Mark. You can, like I said, um, you can do regular patrol if you want to, Brian. It's just you're on standby, or you can do what you're saying and hunt for the warrants. But you can't join happens. a chase. You can't do a traffic stop because you're unmarked and that's illegal. No, you can do a traffic stop. You can chase an unmarked. Changed that stuff a long time ago. Does the DOJ agree? Uh, why does the DOJ have to agree? It has license sirens. Uh, because it's uh, it, the, the reason why unmarked units historically have not been able to do traffic stops is because you're trying to make it a detainment. Oh, 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 I'm marked. confused. I'm confused. Like, but if there's lights through the car and there's emergency lights being activated, therefore you can identify as mm. being a SWAT vehicle. Therefore, it would be um, okay. a lawful traffic stop. If it was UC, I'm with you a thousand percent. All right. Yeah. I mean, if that's the case, I think that sounds amazing. If we can do regular, uh, regular patrol with it, that's um, I'm I'm super down with that. You can, you can. Like I said, it would be. I'm trying to just come up with um, a loadout for your lock storage. So if anything happens, mm. boom, you activate it. Right. The biggest problem with SWAT was it took a long time. They fucking ducklings around the goddamn line up trying to throw on their gear and pick up their shit. Right. It was really slow, not fluid. I think something complimentary to patrol would be better long term mm. and limiting it to six is fair in my opinion to where it's not overwhelming but it's decent and those people can build up that chemistry and be effective being that small squad working together take down a bad guy yeah hpvtu what does it the p mean patrol I don't think it needs to be that. I mean, the three of us can try it right now, and I'm our charger. You know. Just yeah, let's do it. I'm, I'm fucking down. So what do you guys want to do? Yeah. Get some tack gear on, something like this, some, something like this. Just okay, I'm gonna let you pick what clothes to wear. Yeah, let's, let's go to the let's go to the uh, armor here. Let's go. Uh, give us the numbers. You don't have to copy me. Just wear something tactical, you know. All right. <laughs> oh God. Uh, uh, let's see what warrants there are, and then we'll just hunt people. The what the this, fuck, what are the fuck, you fuck is doing? this guy doing? Oh shit. All right. Gentlemen, sir. these guys Turn have been around, down here for an hour. What the fuck is going on? They request lawyers, sir. Brian, Brian, I'm getting impersonation. Yeah, we're, we're, we're talking to the lawyer right now, Brian. Uh, good old gulagging. Yeah, we're literally in discussion <laughs> with him right now.
Uh, being AIDS in the cells. Good old gulagging. Being. <laughs> you don't know anything about that. Real talk. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With uh, with Brian. <laughs> oh my God, bro. Is it over here? Um. Oh gosh. Sorry. I got him. Thank you. Okay. I mean, if you don't mind, I can give you my clothes. Um. I don't know. If, I don't know if we should do black or blue. What, what what's better? Black, one thousand percent. Isn't there an HVTU? Uh... There is. There's the best. Uh, oh, I don't, don't wear, wear that. that. Yeah, do not wear that. Do not wear that. Why? You have to be part of the unit to wear it. Bro, we're gonna be we're gonna be like I said, we're gonna be basically patrol. Oh fuck! With the I, I'm scuffed. Give us a you, fuck. Um, Can I be in the unit? You, no, did you do not wear the put me in cuffs? Oh no! What happened? Uh, if you get cuffed while in the clothing oh, menu, yeah, what's your you, number? Uh, hold on, hold on. What's your number? Uh, oh, this vest looks here. fucking beast. I ain't gonna cap. Right now, what happened? Are you good? Oh damn! How could that? Wait, do it again. Do it again. Oh shit! Yeah, that worked. That's where the Rangers get no love, bro. Barry's got a guy uh, working on a few things right now. We're waiting. Yeah. What is this? All right. This is the swallow. You can wear that one if you want, actually. Just it, it looks really funny from far away. That's the reason oh, why. Is that I'm what it is? Them. Yes. It looks like um. You're gonna get shot up really easy if you wear that. Yeah, you you, <laughs> you get spotted through fucking walls. Oh really? Yeah, it sticks out like a sore thumb. It's really bad. I mean, like we have to have some sort of policing shown, right? Yeah, a, a marking would be the vest, basically, right? Do, can I rock like, like a like? You can take it off until uh, we, like I said, we, if we're patrolling, we throw on the vest on. If we're not patrolling, we can take the vest off. But it's probably better to keep the vest on. Oh, so we, we always have the vest, vest on. on. Yeah, probably. Okay. I mean, if that's the case, I'm just gonna black out then. Oh, let's go. Okay. Damn, Brian's ready. We had this from uh, way back when, right? I would recommend wearing a mask just in case we have to blend in. Um. Oh, I see what you're saying. What, what shoes am I supposed to have on this? I don't understand. Uh, probably long ones. No, I'm just gonna rock a fucking. Do I have a? Is there a ranger uh, turtleneck? I thought there was. I don't know any of these numbers, bro. So I'm just like going through all of those. 